Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. In our previous two classes, we have learned about the terminology that is used in the basics of chemistry and what we, the terminology that will be used later on in chemistry. We have also learned about the isotopes and the moles and Avogadro number, which I hope you all understood. Um, inshallah, today we will talk about the journey from at, at, at atom to becoming an ion. So I just want to start off by saying that usually when we have a neutral mm, atom, that is usually when the number of protons, number of protons is equals to or the same as the number of electrons. So when this happens, then our net charge is zero. Right. But what happens? Why net charge is zero? The net charge is zero because protons and electrons are the same. Mm -hmm. And that exactly cancels out each of their positive and each of their negative charges. Because the protons have a positive charge and the electrons have a negative charge. So when they're the same amount and not like different, not different, um, when they have when they're exactly balanced but exactly same, then they exactly uh, cut off or cancel out their charges, which lead them to becoming a net charge of zero. But what happens when the number of protons or electrons are not the same? So that's what I'm going to show you today. That is when it becomes an ion when the number of protons and number of electrons differ and are not the same. So let me take an example of sodium. Sodium is right here, and it has a number of protons of 11. Now I'm just gonna draw a diagram of where the protons and the electrons are same, so they have a net charge of zero, they're actually equal. So as I said, the protons and neutrons are living together in this house called the nucleus. Right, they're living together, dollars living together. And on the outside, there are there's buzzing around 11 electrons. And because um, there are 11 protons and 11 electrons, and we're trying to draw a diagram of where the electrons and protons are actually have a net charge of zero, when the atom has a net charge of zero. There's two on the first string along with the nucleus. Then there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me draw it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So these are the eight electrons. And then on the very outer ring, there's only one electron. Okay? So here, if it adds up, two plus eight plus one is 11. And inside, I didn't draw it, but inside, along with the neutron, there are 11 protons too. So this is where um the uh the net charge is zero but what if they the this atom gives away one of their electrons that ring is empty there's no more so when there is an electron then there are 11 protons and 11 electrons making them net charge zero. But now when we take it away, then, let's see, then there is 11 photons, yes, because the photons aren't changing. But there is only 10 electrons. So in this case, um, we have one extra proton, so that means one extra positive charge, right? So that's why here, our net charge will be, net charge will be one plus. Or if there is a, the, if there is a plus charge, then it will be a cation. We should remember this, a cation is where there are more protons than electrons and the proton charge is greater than the number of electrons, all right? So this is when it's a cation. Now let's go check out what's happening in the chlorine over there. 
Um, as the same, I'm going to draw a um, diagram of chlorine where the nitride is zero. Then I'm going to show you that what um, that there is a change between the protons and the lucky electrons. So for chlorine in the periodic table, see right here, see right here, there is 17 protons. And that means for it to be neutral, there should be 17 electrons as well. So let's draw this. Here is our nucleus house. You notice the proton is peacefully living with the neutron. Then there's one, two. In the first string, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In our second ring, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In our most outer ring, right? Okay. Is that okay? Now here there are seventeen protons inside our. Nucleus, which I did not draw, but I did draw the other 17 electrons. And this turns out to be a net charge of zero. But um, it's harder for this to give away seven of the electrons, but it's easier for them to just take one from another guy from another guy so then if we add one more electron this is remember this is our extra one that they brought from the other atom from the other guy so then they will get 17 protons because they can't change or else we'll get another um, element but there is 18 electrons right now so there's a different number so here there is one more electron left for sodium, in that case, he got one electron lost. Now he just got, you know, chlorine, just got one electron gained. So here is going to be the net charge. Read that again. Um, the net charge of one minus, right? And whatever you see the minus, that is going to be an anion. So we should remember this. Remember, for our, when there's one more proton, than you, when there's more protons than electrons, it's a cation. When there's less protons and more electrons than protons, it's going to be an anion. So I hope you all learn the difference between the anion and the cation. Now let me give you a concept check. Okay, I need to see erase this. And I want to I, I want to give you an atomic number. I want to give you the atomic number 20. Now work on that. Okay. Um who has the atomic number 20? Yeah, let me just write it down. Atomic negative uh, the electron. You will know it because atomic number Okay, okay. So atomic number is twenty. Who is the limit? So, um, it's remember it's at the very top. So here, if you check, it's calcium. Calcium has an atomic number of twenty, which is at the top. So it's a number of protons. So the element is calcium. So suppose it has the neutral charge. So question is how many electron it has, how many proton it has. Okay. I know the answer. First of all, I want you to try it, and then I'll do it. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is, if it's neutral, remember, the protons should be equal to the number of electrons for it to be neutral. Electrons. And since the protons is 20, then our electrons should also be 20. Thank you. So now, if it gives away two electron and electron came down to 18, what is the charge? Then again, I want to try. Okay. The electron would be 18 if you said they give two away. Mm -hmm. Then, this is no more true. But then, 
the net charge would be two um two plus so is this a cation or an ion this is a cation because remember when there is plus cation when there is minus anion so i hope you all understood the concept from how an atom becomes an ion and i hope you all remember the difference between a cation and an anion cation positive charge anion negative charge the net charge is zero when there is the proton is equal to the number of electrons. They're balanced. So I hope you all understood this. And in our next video, we will do we will learn about the difference of a covalent bond with an ionic bond. So I hope you all understood this. And please keep watch for my next video. Thank you and assalamualaikum.